Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Monday. If you are new here, my name is Yulandi. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So guys, it's a big week for your girl, okay? It's such a big week. Very, 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 very exciting times ahead. I love what is currently happening in my career. So I thought I wanted to give you guys a little update as I am driving to the Hadrian station because something big has happened okay on friday if you guys watch my previous vlog you guys would have seen that i was at training and on friday i actually got called by one of the biggest exco members in our team and when i say biggest she yes she love it for me it's gonna give you guys a bit more lighting she called me and she's one of the people when i say because she's one of the people that has the most influence what one of the people that has the most influence in our department there's a couple of them my manager is one of them her big things for the big girls because of the big god period so she called me she's like hey we've got consultants coming in that's going to help us out with um facilitation for a specific session however we want you to come help out and guys let me tell you now where this backtracks to how does she know that i'm a good facilitator because period i am you know it's okay know your strengths know your weaknesses cool so if you guys remember in august i did the women's day breakfast i opted and put up my hand for it and i said listen yeah guys i want to do this i ran the organizing of it i did the facilitation i did all of that stuff right and um i basically decided that morning that i'm going to do the facilitation of that session and guys when i tell you people saw my potential there so put your hand up for the smallest of things because there is always someone watching there is always someone that is going to see your potential hence i say even if it's like the little things the odd stuff like put up your hand and do it because someone is definitely going to see your potential so she saw my potential and on friday i got called out of training she's like no if you're in training it's fine i'm like girl no you called i done stepped out okay you call girl and she's like, if you're in training, it's fine. I'm like, no, I'm I'm here. I'm I'm ready to talk to you. She's like, yeah, we have this facilitation going. So we're on our way to Santon to go help out with facilitation. Also, let me tell you guys, the one thing they also mentioned and that stood out for me in training on Friday when we spoke about office politics is the fact that your presence matters. So now that we're working in this digital age, it's so easy for us to just keep quiet, switch off our laptops, um, our cameras and not say a word. But they were talking about how important it is to say something in a meeting and to have your camera on when you speak because our facial expression actually has a very big impact in what we say and how people receive our message. So for me, when she said you can do it online i was like sis no i'm coming into the office you don't have to ask me twice okay and then i said i'm coming in so that's where we're heading now we're heading to the office we've got three workshops this week i just need to double check with my manager if everything is okay from his side i know he won't have a problem because he loves seeing his team members thrive and he loves seeing our department thrive so there won't be any issues i know for a fact just i need to make sure that after hours i do take care of my personal work as well but this is getting too long you guys are literally driving me to the hot train station now but what i wanted to say was yeah three workshops this week a lot of external stakeholders so an opportunity for me to network with them as well i am CC, like the ceo of our segment is cc'd in these emails guys it's big okay it's big it's it's a week for me to to make my name it's a week for me to be seen it's a week for me to show up and show off okay very excited so let's go to santon and let's have an amazing, amazing week.
just me getting lost in all of these buildings that we have <laughs> i am going back to where i come from right now because yolani doesn't know the buildings in santon that well just yet but we're getting there because we're starting to roll with the big boys okay like i come on this platform every single week stating that i'm tired and i i don't want to do that this week because <laughs> i just know already that by friday i'm going to be finished Does this mean I haven't worn these PJs since I went to Rustenburg? Because this is the only reason why this would be on my PJs. Because I don't use pigs at my house. Anyways, hey beautiful people, it is Tuesday. What I've experienced this week is genuinely beyond me. It's going to be one of those videos where you guys see bits and pieces of my day and I come to debrief and tell you guys how I feel and some of the stuff that I've picked up that I should share with you guys but it's the, my very first time working with consultants outside of not being a consultant and actually being the client and this experience has been so amazing for me but also I just value my experience as a consultant right now way better and yeah guys we are building really cool solutions for the bank and we're working with different teams and different segments within the bank so it has been amazing so like I said there are workshops currently happening this entire week and I was asked to come help out and yesterday I was literally sitting in the same meeting as the segment ceo what <laughs> but yeah guys i was blown away by yesterday it was amazing to be in that room and to hear how smart these people are oh my gosh they are so smart like i also want to be there i also want to know that much about banking but yeah, guys, this is like our segment CEO reports directly to the bank's CEO. So unfortunately, I'm not going to mention any names or anything. But yeah, someone pretty big was in the meeting room yesterday. And it was just amazing from a culture perspective, how everyone is still like pretty down to earth. And, you know, we are focused on really building solutions together. There was no hierarchy, nothing, which is one thing that I absolutely love about the bank. But yeah, like I said, a lot, a lot of learnings throughout the past two days. I'm learning so much because we are working with consultants that is not from South Africa. So they are from another country and they are trying to basically show us and tell us what they've done in the other country which is similar 
we could say economy compared to south africa we have our own unique challenges but yeah guys so it's also just nice to hear what the other consultants have to say in terms of you know the work that they've done and the cool payment solutions that they bring to their customers so yeah but I think for me, I've learned so much this week already just from like a banking perspective, but also like observing other stuff such as like how our CEO, because literally we working closely with our CEO, our department CEO. So our department CEO reports to the segment CEO, the segment CEO reports to the group, not the group, the bank CEO, and then the group, bank CEO recruit reports to the group ceo so yeah so i'm working very closely with our department ceo which for me in the beginning when i was in the room with him i was like but now it's like cool people the coolest 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 man that i know and um amazing at what he does his leadership out of this world so it's so amazing to work very closely with them and to have that type of experience what i've been doing as well is networking when i'm in the meeting with people i network i am going to be very honest with you guys i have been very quiet in these meetings um in the beginning like yesterday i was pretty quiet because like i was just and still trying to understand the dynamics who's who and what does who do and 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 you know and sometimes you don't want to say things because you're just like mm, i don't want to sound stupid but as i heard people talking and saying stuff that i i was thinking the more i was comfortable to speak up so i've started speaking up um to all the let latter part of yesterday and as well as today today we had our first like um specific segment workshop which was amazing and the, the stuff that came out was pretty cool so yeah looking forward to this week tomorrow is an office day so i'm going to be back with my team tomorrow i miss them so much so i'm going to be back with my team tomorrow and thursday is a work from home day thank god so i only have like one work from home day this week hence i'm saying by the end of this week i'm going to be peopled out i'm already peopled out and then on friday we've got another workshop which i'm also excited about because i might be doing some other work with these individuals as well so i need to network out of my mind on um friday yeah guys this weekend if i can sleep the whole saturday i'm doing it if i can go to church only on sunday come back home i'm doing it i don't want to do anything this weekend so yeah, but overall, Yolanda is feeling good. I just need to do something fun right now, like watch a vlog or something that's going to take my mind off work because I must say I am pretty tired and I need to prepare myself mentally for the office tomorrow because office days do require me to interact with a lot of people. So God, please help me provide me with some strength for tomorrow. Amen. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is Thursday. It's my only day that I'm working from home this week. Tomorrow we've got another office day. So I just wanted to say good morning. I'm sure you guys can see in my face how I'm feeling. I don't have the most energy. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm trying to do everything home related today. My helper is also coming in. So thank God for her. She's going to clean out my space and one thing about her she does deep cleaning and i absolutely need this this weekend i'm not trying to do anything when i say i'm doing nothing like don't invite me to places don't 
bother me i'm doing nothing okay i'm generally starting to enjoy to do nothing so i've decided that i'm going to take november pretty easy as well i've got a girl's trip that's coming up at the end of this month so i genuinely need energy for that because <laughs> the girl's trips are always just wild okay but yeah guys uh today's thursday spend the day with me um at home <laughs> Wanted to get up and set up my tripod but oh my gosh i'm so tired and people's kids are making noise hang on hello beautiful people it is sunday and this video is supposed to go up any minute now i've been editing it but hey oh guys So I think I just wanted to wrap up like what happened over the weekend and guys excuse me for being man down like I'm I'm looking tired but I just wanted to wrap up like what like happened um this week and my emotions and where I'm at right now firstly let me know in the comment section how your week was mine was phenomenal I must say that I have learned a lot this week from various people. I've made a lot of contacts as well. I've done a lot of networking, so I'm grateful. My week was amazing. I am still just very tired. I did not do nothing, as I said. I was lying this whole week that I was going to do nothing. Um, I just got back home now, so yeah. I will chat to you guys again. I'm not going to record this week. Shucks, I, I actually need to record this week. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, okay? I think this is going to actually be like my last vlog for the month of November. Next week's vlog is going to be my last vlog. Then I'm only going to vlog again when it's Cape Town trip. Because... I just need some time out. I need some time out. So I just need to think what type of content and how am I going to deliver to you guys. If you guys have any like requests, let me know. You guys can pop it in the comment section. Is there any like videos that you want me to like create maybe? And then I can do that for you guys. But yeah, have an amazing week. Let me know how your week was in the comment section down below. Mine was good. Like I said, a lot of networking, a lot of learnings. And yeah, I think 
just a reminder and this is a reminder that i gave to the people on my instagram as well like just remember to be kind we are all tired we all have your and fatigue that we're dealing with so just be kind to the other person whether it's your partner whether it's your colleague customer client just be kind we're all tired we're all looking forward to december and the break if you not i am but yeah be kind be mindful and remain grounded so that you don't overreact when you are triggered i love you guys so much thank you for the continuous support i will chat to you guys again uh, for now sunday afternoon i can't even take a nap because i'm not the type to nap at all shame but i'm definitely going to sleep early tonight so i think right now i'm just going to prepare for the week so that i know by tonight i can be in bed by 7 p.m bye